So I'm, I'm thinking about men and women, and I suppose what life is about. And in my own life, I've decided to go meet the men going their own way. And what that means for me is I won't have a romantic relationship with a woman again in life. So I decided to do this to protect myself from various issues that can be caused by women. I suppose my principal reason is that I don't want to have more children and I wouldn't be in control of that process. The decision would be down to the woman. And so because I wouldn't have control of my destiny, I don't have a choice but to forego women. It is obviously a cost in terms of enjoyment of life. And also it goes against my expectation of how to live. I've made an assumption in life about how life should proceed. And it seems that nature has laid the rules of the game. That the man should seek a woman to partner up with and then have sex and then produce children and then raise the children. In my own case, I've had my brain injury so I'm not a functional person anymore, I'm not able to raise my children. So I have followed nature's instructions, I have gone part way towards fulfilling my destiny. And so I'm thinking now about what life is and it does seem to be about partnering up with a woman and then proceeding to have children. It does seem as if life is about producing children for its own sake. There doesn't seem to be a purpose to life as such. It just seems to be about reproduction for the sake of it. There's no goal as such that I can identify. I suppose it doesn't have to be a goal, but um, I do think of the range of elements that need to be in place to support life, to make life possible. And it seems a tremendous amount of effort to make life possible. Incredible range of features of life. need to function perfectly to enable life to be possible. And for some reason that doesn't make sense to me, I'm thinking it seems there is so much effort to make life possible. For life to exist just for the sake of having life doesn't seem reasonable to me. Again, I say that there doesn't need to be a reason, I suppose. I'm just surprised at how complex life is, how difficult it is to make life possible. And all of that effort seems to be about life for the sake of it. I'm not sure if that's reasonable, but then 
A fighter is not reasonable, then it leads into all kinds of issues about how could it be defined by any anybody. These are questions of God. Leads into questions about destiny. And these questions seem, they don't seem correct to me. And I suppose, as I said, it, there doesn't need to be a reason why we have life. So even though life is complex, it could be that nature doesn't, doesn't see it that way. And nature sees life as being easy to manage and to make possible. So on the face of it, it does not seem reasonable that we have life just for the sake of having life. It feels like there should be an objective to life. But as I said, that leads to all kinds of issues with how could an objective be set, who would control an objective. That doesn't seem reasonable. So there are two issues, both of which seem un unreasonable. That there is a destiny for mankind, that seems unreasonable. And that there isn't a destiny for mankind. That also seems unreasonable. So everything is a mystery and it is very strange.